welcome back in this tutorial we are going to be designing another beautiful monogram GS I want you to stick to the end of this video so that you can see how we're going to create this stunning design from start to finish all right without further ado we'll proceed as usual we'll delete this text box and set the size of our canvas to the YouTube thumbnail and we have a wider space now so we are going to quickly import the shape we want to use for this design cycle we have it here I click OK and I'm going to duplicate this OK and I I bring it to the center on top of the original first I want to center this then I click on this duplicate and center it too OK then I go over to edit I go over to edit here and I reduce the opacity to 0 and increase the stroke to 25 or 26 26 should do I click OK and I center it again and with it I click OK then I'm gonna go over and import another shape so I give this a black color I give this a black color sorry here I come over here and give it a black color so click OK I reduce a bit I copy I drag the copy over here I use position to adjust it good we have something like this so the next thing is to duplicate this again copy I drag I rotate I rotate and bring it over here I copy again I bring it over here and I change the color to white I have white color here great <laughs> I copy again and I drag over here so I use this position to adjust and I have something like this I use this to adjust this one again making sure it's well aligned great I have something like this so the next thing is to copy this again this time I'm gonna crop it I'm gonna crop it I go over to crop and I reduce click OK I go over go back to cropping click OK then I'm gonna give this a color of I'm gonna give it a color of black black beautiful it has the black color so I'm gonna duplicate this again click OK and I'll drag it just right here click on this one and bring it down a bit great so this one will come down a little bit you have to take patience to make sure everything is well aligned right you have to take patience to make sure everything is well aligned so I'm just gonna adjust all of this so since we have this I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate this I'm gonna rotate this send it to front then I will reduce the weight to something like this and I'm gonna drag it to the middle here and I click OK so the next thing to do is I'm gonna click on this first circle and I'm gonna send it to front this is the ring shape I'll send the ring shape to front I come over and click on this one and I send it to front are we there I think we are somehow done but before that I'm gonna I'm gonna go over let me lock this so it doesn't alter our design then I'm gonna import another shape something like this something like this I click OK I click OK so watch me watch me and see the, the, the final step somehow the final step on this particular stage so I'm gonna go over and unlock this link I click on it I duplicate 
and I increase the size a bit then I go over to relative position and try to center it then I'm gonna reduce the size a bit center I reduce the size a bit I center are we there then I click OK I give it a white color I give it a white color then I'm gonna go over and lock it I click on this this when I lock it I click and lock the other ring too then I click on this white line in the middle and send it to front are we there okay then I'm gonna lock the rings now so the next thing is to import another shape something like this I click OK I come over here I copy I go over here I copy I bring one here so I go over to merge and I'm gonna merge the entire shapes together I'm gonna merge the entire shapes together and we'll watch the magic I confirm merging I go down to erase color I click on erase color beautiful then I'm gonna drag the tolerance to 70 click OK I go up copy this then come before that I'm gonna center it make sure the original is below the copy so I'm gonna center I'm gonna center the original then go over to the copy and center it to over and merge the two together great we have our GS shape we have our GS shape it's time to add our texture to it it's time to add the texture so we go over to texture and great here we have it we go down to texture enable it and drag to suit our taste I click OK so the next thing we're gonna do is to um, add the name of our monogram I'm just gonna write GS logo design as the name GS logo GS logo beautiful I come over here increase it a bit then go over to font style and look for a suitable fonts to use a suitable fonts let me go down to Roboto bold or Roboto black and use for this design let me use Roboto black I click OK this is good I'm gonna add it the same texture we added to the monogram so I'll go over great so we go down to texture to enable it and scale to taste I click OK beautiful now it's time to add our background so I'm gonna go over to gallery to add our background it will make this design to make you or you know like this design more it will it will make you appreciate what you have done all right so I'm gonna beautiful so I'm gonna just drag over to cover the canvas I go and quickly send it to back beautiful we can decide to leave the design this way and we can decide to add a 3d effect and the shadow effect to it so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just gonna add the 3d and the shadow effects to the design all right so I'm gonna go over to the monogram and go down to 3d shape I enable it reduce the depth to four or five five increase this to 100 then add some X rotation to the design and also Z rotation too I'm gonna reduce the size a bit I drag it over here go down to the text repeat the same process 3d text enable the 3d reduce this to 4 increase to 100% add some S rotation add some Z rotation too and I'm gonna send it to front go to shadow add shadow add enable out glow reduce the blur reduce to 5 come over to the monogram and go down to shadow add shadow reduce the radius to 5 2 great we have a design I want to add something first to the name so I'm just gonna go to the copy tool I copy it and I write the word design because the name is GS logo design design are we there okay great so I'm gonna go over to size reduce the size drag it over say 35 click OK then I'm gonna go to letter spacing and space it well 
I might just have to add, I mean increase the size. Beautiful. And we are done. So I'm just going to save. Save. In ultra quality. It says to my gallery after rendering for a while. 